Welcome for those just joining us to our live coverage of the Soyuz MS-01 launch from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. You're seeing a live view of the Soyuz on the launch pad in Baikonur, and we are now six minutes and 23 seconds away from liftoff, which is scheduled for 8.36 p.m. Central Time or 7.36 a.m. Baikonur Time. Soyuz vehicle gyros and onboard flight data recorders have been activated and the pre-launch preparations are now complete. The crew has even closed their helmets, which puts them on suit oxygen. You can see views here inside the cabin looking at Anatoly Ivanishin, who is on the uh, left-hand side of the screen, actually in the center seat of the Soyuz, and next to him on the right is Anatoly, uh, excuse me, uh, Takuya Onishi. Not seen in this view is Kate Rubin sitting in the right-hand, or in the left-hand seat. Launch key inserted. Launch key has been inserted in the launch bunker, and that is a real key, and tra it transitions the launch sequence into automatic mode. We're now five minutes and 20 seconds away from launch. Run one command. Combustion chamber, nitrogen purge. The range in Baikonur is clear and the Soyuz rocket is ready to begin its journey now in four minutes. Now from uh, the scheduled 8.36 p.m. Central Time liftoff, the onboard systems have been switched to onboard control and the commander's cockpit displays and controls have been activated. Run two command on board measurement system is activated. Oxidizer and fuel drain of launch vehicle are closed. Fuel lines and other elements of the rocket engines are purged with nitrogen to fireproof them by removing vapors of fuel and oxidizer. Three minutes and 15 seconds now to go until liftoff. Everything can proceeding as uh, planned for today's 8.36 p.m. Central Time liftoff of a NASA astronaut Kate Rubens, Roscosmos cosmonaut Anatoly Ivanishin, and JAXA astronaut Takuya Onishi. Booster propellant tank pressurization initiated. The booster tank is being pressurized for flight. This optimizes the flow of fuel and helps add structural support to the rocket. Now less than two and a half minutes to go into a liftoff. Two minutes until launch.
Less than a minute and a half now to go. The ground propellant feeds now have been terminated, and we are closing in again on that 8.36 p.m. Central Time liftoff. With one minute left, the Soyuz is now on internal power, and we should have auto sequence start. Vehicle to internal power, ground propellant feed terminated. First umbilical tower separated from the booster and uh, the ground umbilical to the third stage has been disconnected. 20 seconds now until liftoff. Launch command issued for ignition. Launch command has been issued. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Set flight speed. Engines at maximum thrust. And liftoff of Kate Rubens, Anatoly Ivanishin, and Takuya Onishi now on their way to the International Space Station. 15 seconds into the flight, everything is nominal. Everything is fine on board. Uh, this is it. Good. Good first stage performance. So he's delivering 930,000 pounds of thrust from its four, four boosters in single engine. The first stage of the Soyuz measured 68 feet in length and 24 feet in diameter, and it burns liquid fuel for the first two minutes and six seconds of flight. Stabilization is performing as planned. Everything is fine on board. One minute now into today's flight of the Soyuz MS-01. Velocity of the vehicle is now at 1,100 miles per hour. We are fine and everything is good on board. minute and a half into the day's flight. Everything looking good on board the Soyuz. 90 seconds. A view here of the crew inside the Soyuz looking at uh, Anatoly Ivanishin and Takuya Onishi. Not seen here, but sitting next to them is Kate Rubens. And the crew here on the ground reporting that the escape tower on board the Soyuz has been jettisoned. And the uh, Soyuz four strap-on boosters also been jettisoned. They've completed their job and dropped away at an altitude of 28 statute miles. Soyuz now traveling at about 33, or 3,350 miles an hour. 130 seconds into the flight, stabilization is nominal. One hundred and fifty seconds into the flight, uh, second stage thrusters are functioning nominally. Everything is uh, good. Team here on the ground reporting the launch shroud has also been jettisoned now. The rocket's altitude is 48 miles high. Three minutes and three seconds into the flight, everything's still going well. So we'll use traveling at a speed of about 4,700 miles an hour. And there is Kate Rubin sitting in the uh, left seat, uh, waving at the camera. So we'll use core stage performing as expected. We are watching flight engineer. Core stage of Soyuz is 56 feet in length 
uh, 13 and a half feet in diameter, and it has a single engine with four fuel chambers providing between 178,000 and 222, 601 pounds of thrust for its uh, three minutes and 28 seconds of operation. The stage will continue to burn until four minute and 43 second mark. So it uses what's called a hot stage technique. The third stage will ignite while the second stage is still burning. This is why the Soyuz has an open area in between the second and third stages. Four minutes now into the flight, everything continuing to go as planned. So Soyuz begins making its way towards the International Space Station. Two hundred and fifty seconds into the flight, your pitch and roll are nominal. Uh, we are feeling fine. Everything is good on board. Four minutes and 46 seconds now into the flight. Third, third stage of the Soyuz is igniting, and the second stage is shutting down. We confirm. And we've confirmed that the uh, core booster separated an altitude of 105 miles or 170 kilometers. Soyuz is now uh, being propelled by a single engine of the Soyuz's third stage. This engine is providing 67,000 pounds of thrust and will burn for four minutes and two seconds. Five minutes and 45 seconds now into flight. Everything's still looking good. So he's continuing to make its way into low Earth orbit on its way to the International Space Station with Kate Rubens, Anatoly Ivanishin, and Takuya Onishi aboard. We are feeling fine. Everything is good on board. Three hundred and seventy seconds into the flight, all parameters of the structure are nominal. Everything is good on board. Four hundred seconds into the flight, stabilization is performing as planned. Seven minutes now into flight, and that uh, single engine of the third stage continuing to work just as it should. Four hundred and forty seconds into the flight, stabilization is performing as planned. We are feeling well and everything is good on board. Here the crew continuing to report that everything's going well on board. The Soyuz is now going almost thirteen thousand five hundred miles an hour. Once the third stage delivers the Soyuz to orbit and the module is separated, there will be a series of pre-programmed commands to be executed to prepare the Soyuz for orbital operations. These stored commands are called time tag commands and allow many of the Soyuz systems to be automatically activated by onboard computers at precise times stored in the computers. We're feeling well. Everything is good on board. Thank 
500 seconds into the flight. The flight is nominal. We are feeling fine. Everything is good on board. Be ready for the separation. And uh, the third stage separation being confirmed here on the ground. You saw the crew reacting to it on board there and uh, now uh, exchanging some fist bumps. The single liquid fueled engine is shut down and dropped away at an altitude of uh, 125 miles, statute miles. So we use capsule and crew inside are now safely in orbit and the spacecraft is automatically executing its pre-programmed commands to deploy the antennas and solar arrays. We copy you, Moscow. Everything is fine. The heating of antennas is on. We are feeling well. Good report there from the crew. Soy is orbiting now an altitude of about 143 miles by 118 miles. That orbit will be raised systematically over the course of the next two days, placing it in close proximity to the International Space Station on Friday night, Central Time. Control of the spacecraft from here on out will be overseen from the Russian Mission Control Center outside of Moscow. We are receiving the image. Standing by for your reading on the leak check. The 17-26 parameters. So, Moscow, first reading of uh, format 03, 04-49, SAP pressure 811, VO 811, the same, 870. 17, 17, number 18, 18.0, inaudible, number 20, 0, 21, 1.7, 22, 3, 3, 2, 23, 330, 24, 17.6, 25, 18, inaudible, 26, 272, 870, copy. Have you activated inaudible? Иркут МСС Москва. Go ahead. Пометьте себе данные на тест ручного управления. The data. For the test of manual control is 0613. 